Hi, my name is David. I'm the finance manager here at Orlando Harley-Davidson South, and this is my story. Um, so, started out when I was pretty young, when I kind of fell in love with motorcycles. My father owned a bike. I don't remember what type it was. I think it was some type of enduro bike, like a Honda. Early on, before I was born, I had an uncle that passed away from a motorcycle accident. So uh, my grandparents wasn't too fond of bikes after that happened. My dad, on the other hand, loved motorcycles and he bought one without telling them. Well, they decided to come visit us one day and of course me, I was probably about four or five and dad had taken me out on a couple times and um, I took my grandmother out there to show it to her and she flipped the script and my dad ended up selling it. So we went a long time without a bike in the house. Um, when I was 15, I had a good friend of mine who uh, mother bought him a Honda Rebel and he brought it over to the house to show me. And we took it in the backyard. First time in years I had been on a motorcycle and let alone, I didn't have a very good history on two wheels being that almost every bicycle that I had, I wrecked on a regular basis. He was nice enough to let me take it out in the backyard and I took it out for a little spin and of course I laid it over. Uh, luckily the bike wasn't damaged but I did burn my leg on the exhaust so I found out what that felt like for the first time. Um, my dad ended up buying a bike and uh, took his bike, went got my motorcycle endorsement when I was 17 and fell in love with motorcycles from there on. Um, Never owned one until I got into the military. Uh, couldn't afford it until I got into the military. But I had buddies who had, they would let me borrow their bikes and I'd ride around. And then my very first bike I bought was a Yamaha um, Midnight Warrior. So excited. Just got back from Iraq, took my deployment money, went to the dealership and bought one. And never knew what it was like to own a motorcycle and to experience that feeling for myself. Uh, it was exciting um, to have that power and that freedom to just get out on the road and ride. And after that I was sold. Um, went around uh, trips, vacations, I rode it all the way from Savannah, Georgia to Arkansas numerous times, uh, do an all night trip there, visit my family in Arkansas, turn around and ride it back. Um, the community that the motorcycle life drew me into it as well. Uh, buddies and guys that I served with, we would go out and do bike nights and getting that experience for it, I, I, it just became a passion. Um, after that, I went on another deployment, ended up selling that bike because I didn't know how long I was going to be gone when I'd come back. Uh, so I got rid of that bike and went a while without one. And it wasn't until I got into an accident and my truck got totaled, I bought a cheap car from a dealership and decided and moved to Florida. Decided, you know what, while in Florida, I don't need a car, I can have a motorcycle. So I ended up doing a one-for-one -one swap for a Suzuki Intruder. Um, I was going to college at the time, so I didn't have a whole lot of money. Um, and I rode that Suzuki Intruder. That was my main transportation for at least two years. Uh, riding it back and forth from school, back and forth from work. Uh, then my daughter came along. And of course, um, it was tough having a motorcycle and a child on the way and um, I was pondering about selling it and then um, I came home from work one day and the motorcycle was gone. Someone stole it. <laughs> Broke my heart. I mean it was literally probably worth about 500 bucks but I put a lot of work and effort into that bike uh, redesigning it trying to make it my own and uh, someone took it. Um, I, by that time I was working for Harley and uh, it was tough. It was tough realizing that uh, my dream to own a Harley was so close and I was with the company but financially I just wasn't sure if I could do it or not. Um, and I don't know why I sat and waited for so long. But finally I ended up buying um, 
not only my first Harley, but uh, a new bike at that. It was a, or I own a Sport Glide, um, 2019. I absolutely love this bike. Um, before I bought this bike, I was renting um, from our rentals department about once every once a month if not twice a month for a weekend at a time and I was riding everything um, I was also uh, test taking these bikes on constant test rides trying to fill out what I what I wanted what I needed in my life and the sport like filled both worlds that I was wanting I was wanting something light and sporty as well as something that I could put stuff into with the saddlebags I reconnected back with that lifestyle of having that freedom and the open road again uh, realizing what it's like to go 70 80 miles an hour and the road just underneath you wide open wind whipping you around and that excitement of just being able to do whatever you want to do for some reason when you're on a bike you just feel like you can do whatever you want to do and um, owning motorcycles in the past and uh, kind of growing up around it, my dad being uh, an avid rider, um, it kind of reflected on my, my career choices. Uh, after I got out of the military, I went to school for music business and yet I'm working for Harley Davidson. Um, my passion is motorcycles. I, I love it, I love creating a dream for somebody in their head and then being able to watch it come to reality. The common thing that people say with motorcycles is it creates wind therapy. So I like to think of myself as a therapist. We get them on their bike and they get therapy. <laughs> um, it, it's hard to explain what that experience is until you get an opportunity to feel for yourself. It's hard to explain what it is to buy a Harley for your first time or second time until you experience it for yourself. And that's what I wanted to do with my life. I wanted to be able to give that opportunity for other people and to help them and coach them on what to do and how to go about it. And then at the end, being able to watch, watch them walk out the door, hop onto their new motorcycle and ride out. It's, it's, there's nothing, nothing else in this world that can provide that is satisfaction for me and that excitement. I'm, I'm a firm, I, was, I grew up a free spirit. Uh, I get that from my dad, and um, motorcycles give me a chance to have that free spirit life. Harley gives me the name brand and the, the position in the motorcycle world to hold my own. And um, to be free and to ride free is something that I will never give up ever again. And I hope that you feel and can or you are able to be able to do that yourself.